Hello again, everybody. Today, we're going to start something brand new. We're going to actually start talking about the moon now. We've been talking about the sun and how it seems to move across the sky. We're talking about how the sun rises in the east in the morning and sets in the evening in the western side of the sky. Is the moon always in the same place? No, right? In fact, the moon isn't even always at the same time, is it? No. Sometimes we see a confused moon showing up in the daytime sky, don't we? So it's not always in the same place, and it doesn't always show up at all. Sometimes we see a big piece of the moon, sometimes just a little skinny piece. It looks different all the time, and we're going to be talking about how the moon also shows up in different parts of the sky like the sun does, how it does rise in the east and set in the west just like the sun does, and that's because of the direction the earth is turning, and why sometimes do we see the whole moon and sometimes only a part of it. Let's check this video for a minute. If we were to look out the window in nighttime, we might see the moon if it's not cloudy, right? Um, later that night, if you took another look at the same window, the moon might not be where it was before, or it might be a different shape, or it may be in a different place, or it may even have changed color. Let's check out this short video and see if we can think of any questions we might want to ask about the changing moon. Okay, did you see that? All right, so boys and girls, you are going to see the same picture here in your science notebook. It says lesson four at the top, and it says, where is the moon in the sky? Let's find that one, please. And down here at the bottom, it says, what do you wonder about this phenomenon? We saw this picture, and then later in the video, the moon started going like this, and I noticed the sky changed. Why don't you pause your video right there for a minute and write down what question do you hope we might learn about the moon? Okay, everybody. Now let's take a look back here. I want to show you We are going to talk about observing moon patterns. So, we've learned that the sun appears to go across the sky as well. Just like this, we said in the daytime, the sun rises in the east, seems to move across the sky, and sets in the west, doesn't it? What moon pattern do we notice in this? Yeah, the moon seems to be doing the same thing the sun would do, doesn't it? The moon seems to be doing exactly the same thing the sun would do. So I want to show you, we're going to be talking about how the moon, just like the sun, also rises and sets each day. The moon will also rise in the east, just like the sun, and the moon will set in the west, just like the sun. And throughout the night, you may notice, if you look a number of times, that the moon appears to be moving across the sky. But actually, we should know now, the moon, um, it, the moon is actually moving. It's making circles around the Earth. But the reason it looks like it's moving so quickly is because the Earth is um, spinning around, isn't it? So the moon is the brightest object in our night sky. It's the shape of a ball, which we know from math is called a sphere, right? The sun shines on the moon, which is what lights it up. Okay, boys and girls? The sun makes light, 
The moon does not make its own light. The moon is really just a big floating rock and when the sun shines on it, we can see it just because the sunlight was lighting it up. But you might ask, I don't understand Mrs. Wright, the sun's not out, it's nighttime. Well, yes, that's true. But the sun is on the other side of the earth and little bits of the sun's rays will still be able to shine on the moon even though it's not shining on us. So we will only get to see the parts of the moon that are getting some sunlight. And the reason why only this little bit of the moon is getting any sunlight is because the sun was way over on the other side of the earth and the earth was in the way. And what do you get when something blocks light? A shadow. So look at this. Here on the moon, this dark side is actually earth making a shadow. Pretty cool, right? So the part of the moon that we can see changes. We might see a little bit of it. We might see all of it. We might see only half of it. And sometimes, if you look really carefully, you can still see where the rest of it is. Can you see the outline of the whole shape of the moon? You have to look really, really carefully. The part of the moon we can see is called a moon phase. If you know the moon's phases, you, scientist, can follow and learn about the pattern. The phases make a pattern. And then you can predict, like a scientist, what the moon will look like tomorrow. So, let's see what we can do here. Which of these sentences are true about what we just said about the moon? Hmm. We see the part of the moon that is lit by the sun. Is that true? Yes, in order to see that, the sun does have to light it up so we can see it, right? How about this? The moon cannot be seen at night. Um, I think the moon can be seen at night. How about you? The part of the moon we see does not change does not change. But we just said sometimes I see the whole thing, sometimes I only see half, sometimes I only see a skinny little piece. That sounds like it's changing, doesn't it? Moon phases are the part of the moon we can see. That means each night the shape of the moon does appear different because the earth is making a different shadow on the moon and blocking the sunlight, isn't it? And those different shapes that are showing each night are called moon phases. So those we picked correctly. Now we're going to take a look in your workbook and it's going to look like this in your page. We're going to skip that. We're going to look for this page right here. At the top it says the moon in the sky. And I'll just show you this one because it'll be easier for you to see. So in your notebook, in your science notebook, it says circle the moon in each picture. So for some of them, you might have to look pretty closely, huh? But I think I can see here's the moon and here's the moon. Definitely not the same shape as that one, is it? And look at this one. Here's the moon and here's that kind of picture where even though half of the moon is behind Earth's shadow, we still can sort of see the shape of it. And here's the moon. Did you find the moon in every picture and circle it? Okay. At the bottom of your page, it says complete the sentence. The shape of the moon we see is called a what? What did we say that would be? That's right, the shape of the moon, the part we can see, is called the moon phase. Now, tomorrow, for Fun Friday, I'm gonna tell you this now. Make sure you tell your parents, okay? I have a very fun activity for you to try 
where you are going to make your own illustration of the phases of the moon out of, wait for it, get mom or dad and make them listen, you will need Oreo cookies. Tell mom or dad we need to rush out to the store if we can and get a small package of Oreo cookies. You are going to need probably five or six cookies. So maybe even just one of those snack packs will be enough for you, okay? All right, if you have enjoyed that, wait until you see the Fun Friday project we're gonna do making moon phases out of Oreo cookies. And don't forget, you are still working on your 3D math project. I have another water safety video posted on class story for you. And don't forget to check and see what today's fun reading story and writing activity will be. And I will see you all tomorrow.